Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we're going to be building this cool panel kind of like an accordion which on click expands and has a smooth transition and also you can see that in the background the image also changes so this is a cool creative project so i've been asked like so many times to start react so here it is the first video of react i was kind of nervous like what to get started with and i think this is a good starting point now the video is not for beginners i want to say if you don't know anything about react so diving straight into this i don't think it's going to be helpful so i think if you know a little bit of you know the like some of the hooks like use state use effect i think this is good enough even though we're not using use effect i think a bit of use state and some of the click events we're going to be using map function so I think this is a fairly easy project for a beginner. So yeah, I think this is good enough. I think you can use it in many places. So yeah, without any delay, let's get started. The source code is down in the description. So make sure to download that, play with it, have fun. So without any delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. Here I'm in my folder, which is inside of VS Code, and I'll just go to my kit bash. And then in the browser, I've written here, install React with Vite, and then I've searched for install Tailwind with Vite. Now, if you're an absolute beginner, you're gonna click on this first link. Now, since we're using NPM, so we'll just scroll down a bit, and then I'll just copy this, and then we'll just straight up paste in here. Now, since we want directly in the parent folder itself, so we're gonna just write dot slash, and it's gonna install everything directly inside of that folder. Now, we're gonna also need Tailwind. So we're gonna come over here, and the way we do it is, we're gonna just copy this code here. Let's just copy this, and then, so when we come back here, we need to select the framework. So let's select React, since we're gonna be building in react let's select javascript and then right up here we're going to paste the code that we just copied and let's wait for it to uh, install now the installation is done and the tailwind config.js file we're going to come here copy this code and then update the tailwind config file and once that is done we're going to come over to the source we're going to remove the app.css since we don't really need our app.css we're going to remove that and then in the index.css file, we'll remove, we'll basically select everything. And then instead of that, we're going to copy this code. Let's save and it's done. So I have removed some stuff like app.css. And then also I have deleted this app.gsx and created another app.gsx. And then now what we can do is we can type in RAFCE just to get the boilerplate. Let's remove everything. Let's save and I think we should see app here. Now for Tailwind, I don't know, this just throws in some errors when we delete app.gsx file. So I'm just gonna be running the server again. And yeah, this is good enough. Now we're gonna start off by creating the main tag. Instead of there, we're gonna have the main tag. We're gonna give it width of uh, screen height to screen basically take the entire width and height and then we're going to remove any overflow if there is and then we're going to center align everything so we're going to add flex justify center items to center this should be good enough now after this is done we're going to have the container which would hold the different panels so for that container we're going to give it a fixed width so we don't want it to take the entire width so we're gonna have a width of maybe seven XL. I think this is around like 1280. You can just hover over and you can see the width. So uh, I don't know why it is not showing up. Let's just add here 1280 pixels. Height we want around 80 viewport height and everything needs to be uh, horizontally stacked. So we're gonna write flex items to center justify to center and i think this is good enough now let's add some text here just to see that everything is working lorem enter so yeah we have the text at the dead center 
Now we're going to create the eight individual panels. So the panel would have height of four, width would be, let's say, around 10%. So that would be arbitrary value. So here, using square brackets, let's say 10%. Background would be black. Rounded corners with 2XL, let's save. And let's refresh. Why don't we see? Let's go to the console. Let's come over here. Huh, okay. So here it needs, needs to be viewport height. Okay, it's good enough now. Now we can just paste in a few more times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think we got the panels ready. We just need a bit of gap. So I'm gonna write gap hyphen two, let's save. No, now it's good. So the one that's gonna be active, instead of having a 10% width, would have, let's say 60% width, something like this. And this is we're gonna be manipulating using U state and a click event. So this is basically the overview of how we can achieve it. So do you think this is good enough? I don't think this is good. So the main problem is we're basically adding here the content with this. These are like static content. We need to be having some dynamic stuff. So basically, if tomorrow, if we have 10 more divs, we don't really want to type it out here. So instead of having this, we're going to be mapping through an array, which would have different objects, which would hold the images. And then we're going to be inserting those images inside a div, just like this. And then on clicking, we would basically open them up. So first let's add the on click functionality. So let's add here a variable, let's say, um, expanded index set expanded index and then we're going to be using a use state for that and initially the value is going to be zero so since we have seven divs so we would have seven images so i'll just do one thing i'll just uh, grab the object from here, which is the finished project, and just paste in here. So we have a variable by the name of panels, which has different images, which I grab from Pinterest, and we're gonna be mapping these. So how do we do it? So basically here, instead of this, we're gonna be having some different stuff. So I'll just remove this and here we're going to take the panels and we're going to add map. And we're going to take each panel and also their index. And here we're going to create the div element and we're going to give it a key since when we use map, we need a key just so that it can understand that each of them are unique. So I'm gonna add the index as the key and then on clicking them, we're gonna fire off a function, which would, as let's call it handle click maybe, handle click. And this takes in the index, whichever index that it has, it just takes in that and then we're going to have the class name. And here in the class name, we basically have some of the logic. So since we had the height as full, we're going to have the height full. Rounded to Excel. Background, let's give it white. Oh, we already have white. Let's give black maybe. Cursor to pointer now we want a transition so we're going to write transition all and then we want duration of let's say 500 milliseconds is in out and yeah now we're going to have the logic so the one that we click on 
basically, which we're going to be storing here, expanded index. So the one that is active or basically is expanded, we're going to have a width for that as 60%. So here we're going to check if we have the expanded index, if this is equal to the index of this card, this panel, if this specific panel, see, remember, we're going to have different panels. So let's say we are, we are in the second panel. If the second panel, which would have the index of one, if the same index is here as well, basically the second one is clicked. So what we want to do, we want to add here. Instead of this, we're going to add the width to 60%. All right. Else, if this is not the case, then we'd have the width to the same 10%. And then I think, yeah, that's it. We're going to remove any overflow if there is, overflow hidden. And then let's give them block. I think that's it. That's the basic logic. Let's save. Let's see. So we have seven panels and each one of them are mapped. And as you can see, since we have here zero, so the one that is active now is the first one. So the first one has a width of 60%, the rest are not active. So they're 10% width. Now, if I change the value here to let's say five, this one is active. If I change it to six, this one is active. If I change to one, the second one is active. So we have it here done. Now, the only thing that we need to do is manipulate on click. So what we need to do is we're going to create here the all click function. Handle click. And this would basically take the index. And then that index we're going to set as the expanded index, just like this. And when we click, you see the smooth expanding. And yeah, this looks pretty neat. So this is done. Now to add the image, all we got to do is inside of this, we're going to write the image tag inside of the source. We're going to write the panel that we are currently having that panels image. And then let's save. So we have different images here. Let's add some CSS. So the image would need to have the width to full, height to full, object to cover. And I think, let's save. Yeah. Now when they're active, we want to show from, uh, we want to position the viewport or the viewing portion of the image to the top. So we're going to just write here instead of uh, object position, we can just write object slash to top, which means object position to top. You can see this looks really neat and really cool. So we're almost done with this. Now we're going to go ahead one step further and we're going to add a background overlay so that we have the glass effect. So to do that, Let's copy this and then let's build another container who has height to full, width to full, overflow again to hidden. And then inside of this, let's paste that. And then this, instead of having everything here, we can just add the flex and items center and justify center to this container so that everything is at the center for this container. And then we're going to set the position as relative. And then we're going to add the style tag. 
or the style attribute. Now here, the style would take in the background image, background image. This background image would be the URL. This URL would basically be the panel whose expand whose um, the panel whose index is same as the expanded index and that image is what we're gonna need so we're gonna target that and let's save and let's see so we have this active so as you can see the background image also changes pretty good would have the background what is it background size to cover background repeat to no repeat that looks good now we're gonna add the blur so to add the blur we'd add another container let's add inset to zero to the container an absolute position so for this container, we added the relative positioning to its parent so that we could have this absolutely. And then we're gonna add here a, let's add this first. Let's add the background overlay for a second. RGBA 0 0.3. Okay. Now we want this behind the panels so we can just write z to zero and then to this container we're going to add a higher z say 10 okay now the overlay is below or beneath this and then here we can just write backdrop blur to sm or maybe medium let's save and yeah pretty neat but now when this is activated this is uh this doesn't really have those curved edges so i think we need to add here overflow to hidden so instead of this we can add the overflow hidden for all the cases and yeah it looks pretty neat I think that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. I Hopefully, I was able to explain how to build this. Um, this video is a bit, I mean, longer than usual. Hopefully, you learned something. Now, this isn't really the defined version. I basically want you to create a separate component instead of having everything in the app.jsx file. So, yeah, hopefully, this video was um, interesting. Hopefully, you learned something new. And this is the first React video. I was kind of thinking what to build and how would it go. I think this was a bit okay, I would say. Now comment down below if you build this and comment down what you liked about this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn the notifications bell to get updated. And yeah, meet you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye, take care.